Peter's been talking about adding to our faith in order that we might be godly, in order that we might be more like Jesus. We've looked at some of those things already. He talks about adding goodness to our faith. And then in verse 11 of 2 Peter chapter 1, he says, if you do all these things, you will receive a rich welcome when you enter the eternal kingdom. And it's really struck me, that idea of God waiting to welcome us home at the end of our lives. And the welcome that he gives is not begrudging. It's not, oh, no, they're at the door. It's not, oh, I've got to let them in. It's a rich welcome. He's delighted. Come on in. Well done. And it's a welcome that signifies that we belong. That the Father has prepared a place for us. I think so often we fear meeting God. And there are lots of reasons why death is not a great experience to look forward to. But the people we leave behind and all of that. But the process of meeting God... Peter says there's a rich welcome because we belong in his presence, because he's delighted that we're there. And that sense of belonging in the future kingdom gives us freedom to live this earthly life to the full and to do all that we can to receive a rich welcome. Well done, good and faithful servant. You did all that I wanted of you. Let's make every effort. And when we don't quite achieve it, and when we feel we failed, let's remember that there's a rich welcome, that his grace and his mercy and his compassion and his kindness and his gentleness and his goodness mean that he's delighted to see us in heaven. What a great God.